Hello, my name is Eduardo Diaz, and I'm going to do, um, what I'm going to try to do is do vlogs maybe every once in a while, a week. Just give updates of what I'm doing and how I'm doing and what's going on with my tank. And yeah, so let's uh, let's get that started. So as you can see, I got some brown stuff on my sand. Not cool, right? I believe they're diatons um, and algae encased in glass, I believe. Uh, you tend to get it if there's uh, too many nutrients or bad lighting or too many fish. Um, I've actually been battling it for the past couple weeks. Um, I think it all really started when my protein skimmer um, died on me and then I purchased a used protein skimmer and then that didn't work and then it took me um, way too long to get a replacement pump for my original skimmer and during that time period I got this. I have been testing my tank uh, nitrate, uh, phosphates, ammonia, um, etc and everything is good so um, so what I'm doing to fix this is I actually um, I might I think it might be coming from my RO water I do have an RO unit and um, so I replaced the filter the initial filter that takes out the large sediment it was pretty bad it was nasty I do live out in the rural area I do have well water so that's uh, prone to that kind of stuff I do have a, I think it's a TBS meter, um, and that registers is very low. Um, so it's kind of a big mystery. So um, what I'm doing is I do have um, Echo turn on sump light. I do have um, some media, um, and so there's a there's a product out there that has a little bit of everything, um, and I have that in this bad boy here. As you can see, my protein skimmer is going, and I do have a refugium that takes out um, nutrients. Um, I do replace my um, my sock here uh, quite often. Um, I was reusing uh, by cleaning them, but now I'm just going straight to a new sock, so maybe that was it, right? Could have been the source for, for my crap. But as you can see, the sump is really clean, so there's not detritus or what have you. It is actually a new sump, and I'm, I'm trying to keep that as clean as possible. So yeah, um, as far as my tank and the coral, the coral looks pretty, they, they look great. Um, I'm very particular about making sure that it's not on the coral. So um, to the point where I'm actually taking a toothbrush and I'm brushing off the rock if it gets too bad. I am also fill, uh, cleaning this, um, the sand uh, with a um, sand sifting, I don't know, siphon per se, uh, just to kind of help the problem, but yeah. That's kind of where I'm at, and that's uh, that's just the saltwater life. Um, so I've got the fish in the front. I feed them. I'm actually I was feeding them for the most part um, mysis. Um, I thought that maybe I was overfeeding, so I switched up. I'm doing mysis and and flakes and some other stuff, and that, I think that's just better for the fish in general. Um, but just to kind of help to lower the nutrients that I'm putting in there. But again, um, as far as my tests are concerned, that it's not. It's not something to really worry about. Oh, you see that? The uh, the clowns have some eggs back back there, and they're really territorial. They frequently will pick at other fish. So yeah, that's an update on my 80 gallon tank here. Um, hopefully, uh, these videos are going to get a lot better. Um, and this is just the start. So yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. Bye bye.